Dustin with Steeple Hat Studios. Today I want to share with you people the Iron Age Farm Stand. This is a Kickstarter project that we just launched. I just want to show you guys some close-ups and some details about uh, what you'd be getting if you uh, back our, our project. So here we have the Iron Age Farmstead, a complete version of what you see on the Kickstarter with a bunch of different 28mm models sitting around it. The Iron Age Farmstead is basically made up of three different pieces. It's made up of the granary over here. We've got the wattle fence and we've got like a wooden gate. And then we also have the thatched hut in the back. These three components are the pieces of our Iron Age farmstead. So when we were designing the Iron Age farmstead we looked at a lot of the uh, reconstructed Iron Age villages that are in England and Wales and we found a few designs that we liked the most so um, each of these pieces is designed from the different villages that uh, are out there and you can actually visit in, in, in the United Kingdom. So I'm gonna look at the granary here first and go through each piece in the details. You see the granary here it is about 8 centimeters tall. The diameter of the circle is about 7 centimeters. Um, it's a raised granary, meaning that it's raised off the ground. Keep away the rats and uh, flooded water on the ground and stuff like that. Uh, you can see here at the bottom, just give you a close up, that we've designed some logs and different stones underneath of it. We just thought that would be a, a cool earth kind of look and a uh, kind of natural look underneath it. The boards and the, uh, the very simple door here are just uh, haphazardly put together. We didn't want to make anything look too fancy. We wanted to look at rustic and uh, make it look like it was very uh, was put together by, uh, <laughs> I want to say, primitive people, barbarians, right? Then the roof just has the basic thatch on it. Now the thatching we chose is a brown color. We were trying to decide if we wanted to do more of like the yellow grain and a yellow kind of hay look. But we also discovered as we were building this uh, that uh, a lot of the thatched roofs eventually go brown. So we figured to have a bit of the uh, bright brown and the, the darker browns kind of popping out of it. So I think that's more of like a little bit of an aged roof, not so much a fresh roof. The fence here itself, it's about one completed and constructed in the way that you see here. It's about uh, 14 and a half centimeters by nine and a half centimeters. And um, the fence itself is only three parts. It's a gate, a straight wall piece, and a corner. And we basically repeated them in a, in a rectangle there, so you can get a better idea of uh, how it looks when put together. So we'll start with the wall here. So here on the straight wall piece that we've designed, we've got kind of like a, a mound of earth that is on each piece here and we have put a bunch of different posts on each of the straight pieces. You'll notice that the posts are not straight. They're all at different angles and different sizes. We did this on purpose because we wanted to make this fence look as though it was built in haste or it was just built in a crude manner. And I think that just adds kind of the rustic feel to it. You can see all the designs there, kind of like the wood, the different cracks. And yeah, you can see we wanted to have some of the uh, the, 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 the wattle not quite complete and you can see some of the details popping out from each post there. So in the fence set you get five of these pieces to complete the wall and the missing piece is the gate piece. Now the gate is very similar in the wattle part anyway in the posts but we made a wooden gate here which again is not straight. We kind of made it a uh, haphazard kind of look. It's only got the two mounds of earth on either side there and then underneath the gate it's just clear so and we couldn't put a cross beam in there just to uh, add a variation. We and finally for the fence we also have the corner piece. Now the corner piece is basically what you think it is. It's just a wattle fence on an angle here and you can see we got some of the wattle there, some of those sticks sticking out of the edge. So we designed it in a way that make it look like it's kind of like a corner, like it's been weaved or tied almost in a knot at the end there. And then again the uh, fence posts are um, set at different heights and different angles just to give it that kind of like uh, rustic look I guess so. The wattle itself on each of these pieces sits about uh, two centimeters tall. The individual uh, gate and the wall piece we'll call it, the longer piece here, are about 4.8 centimeters long and the height on these up to the highest post is 2.5 centimeters. Where the corner itself is about 
uh, 2.3 centimeters along each uh, side and again 2.5 centimeters at the highest uh, post point. And you can see here, and you see the cow in the midst of the <laughs> fence there, um, that each piece can just separate simply like that. Um, they can move around and you can adjust them as you please. So if you get the double farm set, you can easily like make two walled areas or you can omit for the corners and make a much bigger walled area if you want. Or you could just, you know, line them up without corners and have a really long fence if you wanted to. So we've just designed them then that way so you can set up the fences in any kind of way or form that you'd like to. Here we've got the hut and the hut itself, we've got your basic roof on top of the wattle and daub, daub walls here. It is about 12 centimeters tall and about 12 centimeters in diameter following the, uh, the, the widest point which is the uh, thatched roof here that circles all the way around the uh, hut itself. The inside is completely hollow, okay, so it's very light, it's easy to carry around, you can hide people inside if you want, but we didn't make it, uh, we didn't make it so the roof comes off, simply because we wanted to design this more so for big uh, rank and file massive war games where you don't really need uh, to take off the roof, it's more of, of course like a battlefield decoration. Let's take a look at the door here, the door here is made up of uh, a boarded door and we just decided to use this look. Um, we've seen wattle door variations, but we wanted just to have something that looked a little more sturdy than wattle. We thought it turned out pretty good. You can see here there's all of the different kind of markings and again we looked at the different reconstructed villages in England to check out what daub looks like, so it's got a very daub look to it, if you will. And you'll notice here on the roof, again like I explained in the granary, that it is quite brown as though the uh, thatch has been aging but when you get to the top here you notice how it starts to get a little darker a lot of the inhabitants of these of these uh, these huts these hovels they would cook food inside of their uh, home they'd have the fires going on inside of their homes and the smoke would rise up and uh, come out of the uh, the, the different uh, holes in the thatch and such so we have a darker rooftop because we wanted to represent kind of like a soot or a smoke feeling. Uh, thatch also starts to brown and darken when it is hit by rain. So we've made the top a little darker and you can see it varies in different spots. And each, uh, each, uh, each of these uh, different uh, huts will have different shades of, uh, of blacks. So there's no way we can make them all <laughs> perfectly the same with each other in the, in the paint job. But yeah, you'll have a different kind of variation than you will, say, with the, the granaries uh, roof there. And of course, if you like painting stuff on your own, we have also created as an option for a little cheaper on the pledges, the option of getting the raw resin versions. And we have raw resin versions of each piece here, right? It's a little more clear on the door and what they look like. But yeah, each piece it comes also with the option without a paint job, and that is all on the Kickstarter for you to see. That is the Iron Age farmstead and all three pieces on it. We, as I have said, have not done any crowdfunding before. This is our first time doing crowdfunding, so it's fairly new to us. We're not really worried about actually making the pieces. If you have been following YouTube or know about our company, we've made stuff before. And you can see here that here's one example of our... Um, Desert Empire guard tower where we've put uh, you know some lamasu built into a, a tower wall we got like a wooden door there the top has a uh, kind of a trap door going there but yeah we've made and pre-painted stuff before so we're fairly confident in our ability to actually make the products the challenging part for us on Kickstarter is going to be more so fulfilling many orders at once and shipping them out to the different people but uh, I think we're gonna be alright with that as well so yeah, you can find us on Kickstarter. I'll put a link in the description box below if you want to go check out our Kickstarter. That is the Iron Age Farmstead. Thank you everyone for watching today. Hope you have a good one. And if you pledge, thank you very much. We appreciate it and we look forward to getting this product out of Kickstarter and to your homes. <laughs> have a good one.